Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news from Ireland of a meltdown in Irish politics. The Prime Minister, or the Taoiseach as they call him there, Brian Cowan, has resigned as the leader of the Fianna Fáil party, the governing party, but he's staying as Prime Minister. This prompted the Greens to pull out of the coalition they have with Fianna Fáil and raised questions about an early election. Currently it's scheduled for March the 11th. So why should we care here in New Zealand about a, an eruption in Irish politics? Well, of course, the Irish financial situation is at the heart of the European debt crisis. And until now, the Irish had agreed to slash their budget and continue to pay their debts that are owed in particular by the Irish banks to the European banks and the British banks. Well, now the Greens have pulled out, there are real questions about whether Ireland will follow through on its deal to repay its debts and to get its budget under control. And when that happens, people worry about the European debt crisis all over again. Remember, this happened on Saturday, so there hasn't been much market reaction yet. We'll see that, perhaps, in New Zealand. And finally, in New Zealand, and in fact all around the world, there's been a measure of housing affordability by Demographia, which shows that New Zealand's multiple of house prices to income is still pretty unaffordable overall at 5.3. Now that's slightly better than Australia, which is amongst the most unaffordable markets in the world, but not nearly as affordable as America. Auckland at 6.4, Christchurch at 6, Wellington 5.5. The least affordable market, according to Demographia, is Tauranga. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 98.9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Thank you.